All right, guys, so I know it's been a while, but uh, here goes Louise and his call again. And uh, this time, wait, you're going to run over these. Look at this. So long as his car's been sitting here, spider webs just chilling. Domino, you're all in the way, you fat nose. Dogs, you fuck with me! <laughs> Somebody's a little happy. That's how you get it out. Yeah, I told you. Let's try a new one. So it's too small? That where? Huh. Not this, man. So what happened was uh, the, uh, the bushing is small. I know this will fit for sure, though. This one right here? This one will have to fit for sure. But I know these are correct because I, when I ordered them, ah! all right. So when I ordered them, Jesus, help me, Louise. Um, I was trying to get the B series one, and I or accidentally ordered the wrong one because it didn't tell me it was a D series. This is for just for the back. Why wouldn't it work? Huh? Well, fuck. Is it in there right now? So you got it on loose and everything? Yeah. Um, it's kind of hard to pop up, but you have to pop to get the whole thing completely undone. Completely unbolted. Yeah, it has to be completely out. And that's it, they're installed. So when you tighten it all up, when you tighten it all up, yeah, you gotta tighten them up. Uh, they're, uh, I think, 14s. But I'm filming. What you doing right now, Louise? Loving myself up. Looking up, looking up. Are you loosening it or tightening it more? Oh, great, it's stuck again. You got it off. There you go. Okay. Well, if we can get it on there. What's going on guys? So, uh, here's what I did recently. Didn't film it because I just kind of wanted to get it done.
but I took the dash out. In the process of taking out my dash, I messed up <laughs> my claim and control. But in the process of that, I said, you know what? Fuck it. So I'm going to take out the uh, the heater. All that's going to come out. I already got the uh, one of the vents and the AC box. So that's all coming out because uh, race car bro. But yeah, once I uh, remove that, I'm going to put the new dash in. I mean, the dash in. And what I'm going to do to the dash, thanks to Death Guy, I'm going to flock the whole dash. If you don't know what flocking is, I will show you a picture. It will be right here of what flocking or the dash flock look like. I don't know, it's fiber and it looks really nice. It looks kind of like suede and all you do is pretty much just smear it on and that's that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Louise's house and is remove his uh, shift linkage because I'm going to be pressing in his new bushing today for the uh, shifter chingas. And uh, so far what I got him new from Honda is the collar that goes underneath. And it has like this little scrunchy thing that goes underneath where the ball is. I guess it's meant to eliminate slop. Found that out from Zosh, so that's what we're doing with that. On the motor from Honda, I got him a new distributor o-ring, valve cover gasket with the spark plug o-rings, and a new water neck because this one is rusted. So, got all that from Honda. What else did I get him? Oh, yes. I also got him uh, the... Flywheel bolts because I got to grind these ones out because they're fucking stuck. So once I grind them out and put new ones in, the parts will be here on Sunday. Uh, I got them kind of free. I got to do an exchange of work for them. Uh, Jake, if you're watching this, thank you. I appreciate you for helping me out with this. Hold on, my camera's a little dirty. There we are. But uh, as of now, I'm going to get onto this car where there's shit tons of spiders. And I'm going to remove the shift linkage. Hopefully I don't die because I hate spiders with a fiery passion. I'm a little bitch when it comes to spiders. Anybody that knows me knows this. And uh, it's hot as fuck out here. So I'm feeling good. I've been losing weight. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm trying to uh, watch my macros, if you will. So let's get started. Okay, so I removed the uh, center console here. So that way I had to take off the shift knob and all that. Just to make sure nothing else was bolted in there. Now I'm going to go underneath and take off the two 12s that are holding it up. Hi, Luis. How's Will behind? Oh. Oh. oh, hell nah. There is so much biojos under here. Look at spider webs. Oh. <laughs> I mean, look at this right here. They're all just chilling. They're gonna eat me alive. Yeah. Okay, now that I cleared out most of the spider webs underneath here, I think I can I think I can do this now. <sighs> I fucking hate spiders. Okay, so we're removing the uh, shift link it's out. It's a 12 here. And there's usually two 12s. There's one right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Nope. Well, there's a 12 right there and a 12 on the other side of this little uh, arm bolt bracket thing that goes across. Once I disconnect that, it should all just come right down. The shit I do for love. I literally feel as if there's spiders everywhere on me. Oh, God. I I really hate spiders with a passion. I don't think I could stress this enough. So I brought it to my house for uh, degreasing and I just have to find my spray. Sorry, I got the, the heebie-jeebies. I... I really feel like they're all over me. Like, I fucking hate spiders. Let me get it started. BB with the robins. Looking over retarded. BB sagging. Fly like a dragon. This is my dick. Cause I fly like a ladder. Put up to the Jimmy. Uh, licky licky. Licky on my booty. Uh, he ain't happy to me. I was going to shoot you. Spank him on <laughs> I have to put Louise's uh, shift linkage on hold because he wants to fix his brother's chair. I'll show you guys what I mean. 
Hey, Luis, show the people what I meant by the by the chair. Jesus. Oh, oh my God. I don't know if we can fix that. <laughs> We're going to try. Oh, my God. Oh, I see. I see where it broke right here. So it needs to be welded right here. Fuck. Yeah. All right. Well, he's going to get started on taking out the... You're going to get started taking out the seat? The tool's are right here. Yeah, I just choked that piece of ice though. <laughs> Fucking whore. Okay, so I did the world's jankiest ass welds because it was broken right there, right there, and right there. So I'm not the best welder, especially with the uh, Amazon MIG welder. But that's what it looks like right there. Better than what it was. It's also uh, welding. It's also uh, welded on this side too. Get better. Uh, point of the video is don't let uh, 400 plus pounds of people buy an accord like this. Uh, buy a truck or a minivan. Why? What's the, what happened? Because they're fucking fat. So tell me what happened with the, with the seat. <laughs> he broke this bar and then the flange or the bracket that holds that bar to the rail fucking like, snapped on both sides. <laughs> While I was driving it too. While you floored it and your I, feet went up, I, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, I kind of floored it and then my fucking feet went up in the air. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's all done. I'm out of wire though. Okay, so it was trade for trade with him. I helped him fix his brother's chair. He helps him take my gas tank out. So I ran out of the wire so I couldn't finish it up. Couldn't really weld it well because I don't have a mask, so I had to close it. Hopefully I got that on camera. I have to turn my head sideways in order for me to weld. How does it feel? Does it feel a lot better? Yeah? Cool. So I did my job, so just waiting for him to bolt it up, move this thing out of here. Then we can start taking down the gas tank. I know it's blurry, but y'all gonna have to deal with it. Fuck, I gotta patch this up right here. And look at these lines right here, man. Come on, get in focus, bitch. These lines are all done, man. And then, that, do you see that right over there? That right there? That's a jack point. That's where it was. That's where the jack point fucking was, man. Oh. Uh, so, I guess I'm gonna try to figure out how to, uh, I'm gonna put in a new uh, fuel pump and a new fuel system in here. I'm gonna get rid of these lines and I'm probably gonna put maybe Maybe figure out a way to do an AN fitting on here and see what I could do with that instead of it being these rusted ass fucking lines because these lines are, are no good. They're, they're so rusted. I don't trust them. I mean, look at the rubber on this one right here. Look at how bad that is. It's like, it's, oh, it's fucking split. Oh, no way. That's just the cover. Well, it's so bad. But right now what Louise is going to do for me is he's going to take off those two lines back there and then undo it from right here so we can get this all tank completely dropped and uh, I can see what needs to be removed. I'm just going to slide it out that way over there. I just want to know, like, how do you how do you let a car get this fucking bad? Like, if the East Coast is really like this, and no offense to the East Coast people, but, like, fuck, like, what are they doing with this? Like, this car is probably obviously from the East Coast because it's rusted as fuck everywhere. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that. I'm probably going to have to cut that out and then put in a new piece of metal and weld it as terribly as I, I weld. And I still can't get this fucking tire off because uh, that fucking jack point's busted. So I guess once I get the gas tank out, I could start fucking working underneath from here. But man, this is, this is bad. It's all fucked up under here too. Oh man. So I got, I got a lot of work to do, man. It's, I thought it was gonna be just easy. This is a this is a hell of a fucking build. If anybody wants to help, just fucking DM me on Instagram and I'll take whatever you guys don't want. Anything helps. So I got the fuel tank out with Louise's help, and it's done. There's no there's no saving it. There's absolutely no saving it. I need a whole new tank, and all the lines are corroded. I'm gonna see if there's a way I can change it out to AN fitting or something. Change all the hose to AN. 
It's hot. I'm sweaty. I don't know if you can see how shiny I am. This is all the sweat, but man, it is hot, and I, I really didn't expect the lines to be okay in the in the long run. But fuck, I, I had a little little bit of hope, but guess not. So that kind of sucks, right? Okay, so I got the fuel pump out, and it uh, looks like I'm going to have to do an AN fitting on it. That's the plan. I'm probably going to hit up JB Tune in order to see how uh, how I can go about that. Uh, but as of now, I'm going to close the video out here. Hopefully you guys like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'm Chris from Lazy Man Garage, and we get shit done when we feel like it. Peace.